bit among the counties. Some of the counties were insisting that some of the money to go to food and the rest. And I think the governors, the summit was holding a meeting today to harmonize on that position. So I was trying to explain why you've seen that it was in the interest of time the supplementary be here, because between now and 30th of June, the timeline is very small. Secondly, honorable members, I think we met here last week, and um, the Nandi County Emergency Fund Bill 2020 amendment was postponed because of a critical concern the honorable members raised. And the concern for the honorable members for this particular consideration was for the water provision. We did a supplementary budget for emergency fund last, like one and a half month ago, and we had appropriated 51 million. And the same, when we asked for a breakdown of uh, figures for the same, there was a disparity. And I think committee chair Lance can confirm that uh, we had tasked the committee to ensure the same is there. So I raised the same because I was the one who signed the vellum and was able to agree with the county executive that that money has to be provided. So I want to confirm to the house that as you will be discussing tomorrow the supplementary budget, you will see that we, even, we got better than that because we insisted on getting the 51, but we've been able to negotiate for a bigger figure to be 60, so that the 60 million will be subject to reappropriation tomorrow, and the same be divided at the ward level, each of the ward to be able to get two million, and that will be subjected uh, through um, emergency means, so that we don't have to wait for the next financial year, but we have it considered now. Now for that to happen, there is need for us to quickly consider this particular amendment on the wording, because not a single money, including the 118, will be distributed unless and when we have adopted a provision that the same money can lie in a special purpose account. As it were, our legislation, we mention it will be the commercial bank, and no county is being allowed to operate a commercial bank. In 2013, 2017, most county governments had commercial banks. I can see Honorable Fred, Honorable um, Sang, I don't know, Honorable Mayo is here. Those members that were here in the first assembly, you know how it was easy for you to assess money. Each county government had commercial banks. So you could easily run some of your projects from commercial bank. That changed. When we came in in, 20, when we came in, in 2017, the provision of IFMIS became so important and so critical to the point that county governments were restricted to operate commercial bank accounts. And the challenge came from ability to trace and track the funding. Honorable Mengech, I'm sure you're on record when you are prosecuting as a committee the bursary fund. One of the recommendations were when money is in the commercial bank, it is subject to, it is, there's a temptation to be able to assess it easily. So that is why the insistence by the control of budget. A copy of the letter has been served my office that the same cannot be able to be transacted. I think that is why this particular provision was there. So I was reporting back to you because when I sat here last week, I think it had been placed um, before the budget committee and I had taken responsibility personally that I will be able to follow up on this because once a resolution of the house has been adopted, it is my responsibility to ensure the same is implemented. So I came back with a new list. We've been successful to recover our money for water, which is now 60 and not 51. And that was the main bone of contention for us to consider the amendment. I needed to make that communication and the same will be verified when tomorrow you'll be doing, uh, because you'll have to reappropriate uh, the amounts as well as to consider the one that has just come from the national government. That was my communication. So stand advised. Next order. Order number three, messages. Next order. Order number four, papers. Honorable David Koech. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wish to table a supplementary three estimate for financial year 2019-2020. I table. I acknowledge the tabling of the supplementary three estimates, financial year 2019-2020, um, as forwarded 
by the CC Finance and tabled by the Majority Leader. The same lies with the Budget and Appropriation Committee. And being an emergency uh, figure, I would ask the committee to report back to the House with the same. The same is dispensed. Next order. Order number five, petitions. Next order. Order number six, not sets of motion. Next order. Order number seven, statements. Honorable Pius Murray. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, pass one to standing order 45, uh, subsection 2C. I stand to seek a statement from, from Chairperson Lands, Environment, and Natural Resources. Uh, Honorable Speaker, in the financial year 2017-18, funds were allocated together for various works as per bill of quantities in respect to Sarura Water Project. The chairperson therefore informed this house on the following. Uh, one, has the contractor been paid? Two, if the inspection was done, when was it done and by who? Uh, if yes, when and why was the completion certificate granted before completion of works as per the bill of quantities? Um, three, if yes, what prompted the payment that even the sub-county water office, ward administrator, area MCA, management committee and members of the public were not notified of the reason and intention to pay the contractor before completion of the work? Uh, five, if the payment has, has been made what are the plans to ensure that the, the uncompleted work is completed? Uh, six, completion plan to be provided, considering that the contract period lapsed a long time ago due to errors committed by the contractor. Lastly, if the payment has not been effected, why has the contractor not, be, uh, not completed his or her work since 2017? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Um, the statement by Honorable Pius Murray, the same is, uh, I can see it's Chairman Lance. Honorable Robert Kiro is here. Honorable Robert Kiro. Asante sana, Honorable Speaker. Mina fikiri ndatoa majibu next Thursday. So, Honorable Robert Kiro, as per your word, you have seven days to respond, which that is eight days. It's Thursday afternoon, you'll be expected to respond to the same. I also want to reiterate, I think I had given a list, um, I shared on the, our social media page, the county members, the elected county members that have yet to supply us with the specifics that are tied down together with statements that have been sought before. Kindly comply by tomorrow morning when we'll be coming for the morning sessions. I had mentioned, I can see Andre Bokirongo, Andre Bokevolue, quite a number, not so many, around 11 or so. I'm sure Honorable Charles Correa has confirmed he's complied. Uh, yeah, Honorable Chemtai also confirmed that she's complied. So let's ensure we have that in place quickly. Next order. Order number eight, Nandi County Emergency Fund Amendment 2022. Honorable members, I think uh, the debate for this was continuing. Um, so I wanted to, as you've noticed that um, what we had done, we have just put for us to consider the second reading so that the others can be considered tomorrow together with, um, together with, uh, with the supplementary. Um, but before then, I wanted us to conclude debate first on this before we can be able to proceed on the subsequent stages tomorrow morning. Honorable Fred, I think you hadn't spoken. Proceed. Yes, Honorable Fred. Honorable Fred, the same was provided to the Honorable Members on Wednesday last week. Each member had a copy of the amendment. Because I remember the amendment was one word, replacing the word commercial bank 
with special purpose account. And we provided copies to each. Honorable Walter moved the table the same. But uh, I think it is not difficult for us to still get your replacement copy if you've lost your copy. And I would encourage members always to keep their, keep their copy so that we don't Very get speaker. But as a point of information, I wish to confirm to you that the amendment was replacement of the word commercial bank account to special purpose account within Central Bank of Kenya. Proceed, on Rebo Gideon. Mr. Speaker, my inquiry is on the aspect of tabling of the said document, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the response in as far as the, um, ex uh, the proposed expenditure for the funds allocated to the emergency fund kitty. Um, indeed, the, there was a response to that effect but I don't. I think, have a copy. Yeah, but I don't think shared. it was table officially. It has before. been table. That's why I'm saying I thought because it is on my table and it is stamp received. And not really, honourable speaker. I think it was not table. It has to be formally table before this committee, before this house. Honorable Gideon, I can confirm from the clerk's table that Honorable Walter Teno addressed this house and even asked for extended period of time that he was in receipt of the same and he asked that copies be supplied to all the Honorable members and thus can be confirmed. Importantly, this particular document will be appearing before the floor of the house tomorrow when you'll be considering the supplementary. The reason you are considering a supplementary tomorrow is basically on health on health facilities, that is the 118 million, as well as reappropriating the 60 million for water, which would mean you will have to scrutinize the original list that uh, Honorable Walter Teno um, um, had it provided to us, so that you make sure you don't double allocate. Once you take out 60 million from the 181, those items will be covered under 118. So tomorrow morning, because we'll be debating tomorrow morning. Um, on the specifics, that particular copy of the document will come in handy. But I can confirm the same was uh, communicated and able to be before the floor of the house. So I think the substance of it will be tomorrow. I hope your question Mr. has Honorable been answered. Speaker. Honorable Speaker, before Honorable Quine, Yes, Honorable Menge. We can talk about that issue. Uh, mm -hmm. It would be prudent for us to have the document so that by the time we come in tomorrow... Uh, fair enough. I think copies then, are here. I would ask uh, the clerk's desk to circulate to members. Uh, secondly, of course, Honorable Speaker, the point of contention was we should be able to scrutinize that document before we can even debate and accept the amendments in the, in, in the emergency fund bill. That is why, Honorable Mengech, you can see I was only giving one stage second reading. Tomorrow, once you confirm that your money for water is part of the appropriation, we finish with the committee of the oil house. Honorable Speaker. Honorable Gideon. Mr. Speaker. Uh, I think uh, you've given direction in as far as what I have I raised is concerned. I can authoritatively, authoritatively say that uh, the said document was not table, Mr. Speaker. If that is the case, Mr. Speaker, I wish to request that we have uh, the handset supplied because I was chairing the session then. And the only thing that Don Walter Teno said was he was on receipt of the response, but since it was bulky, he would make sure that the said document will, will be distributed to members, but it was not formally table. He mentioned that, Honorable Speaker. So, Honorable Guinean, I think you are reiterating what I've said. I've just agreed with you that, um, you know, the question was directed to the move of the motion, that was to be the chair. Secondly, the subject and the content of that particular um, report is what I, we have scheduled tomorrow. Because when we received, um, when we received the, when we received the supplementary, when we, re when we received the supplementary, I combine all of them, and that's why you see them here today. I see the same be table here for purposes of, um, for purposes of us to consider. And when the, when the majority leader was appearing, I assumed the same had been attached together. Reason being, 
it will be the subject of your discussion tomorrow morning. And that's why you can see the copies are here. So you are correct. As when you sat in the chair, the formal tabling was not there. That was communication that has necessitated now for us to consider them together with the supplementary and have them brought formally and tabled before the house. Then tomorrow, it will be the subject of your discussion. So there is no dispute about the same. So honorable members, quick comments on basically the second reading because the amendments will be conversed tomorrow. And the subject of the amendment is about, um, um, I think the main contention was on the issue of the water appropriation. And that will be subject of your discussion tomorrow. Honorable Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand to support uh, that amendment, Honorable Speaker. This is the money that we had appropriated and the house had passed. But all the same, it has come with a blessing, Honorable Speaker. The challenge that we had was the issue of water. And maybe it is the almighty God up there who decided to make those accounts to have that problem so that we can have the, the 60 million honorable speaker. It, it was 51, but now we have 60. I think now the honorable members can be able to be appreciate the fact that the, their money is coming. Wait, 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 honorable speaker. Andre Bolta. Honorable Speaker, I think you can, you can inform uh, Honorable Majority that uh, we are discussing the account, not the, the 60 million. Oh. Honorable, Honorable Majority Leader, you are out of order. For the purposes of appropriation, that is not scheduled for business today. It is scheduled for business tomorrow. Today, it is just basically the wording, commercial versus special, uh, the specialized purpose account. For the real appropriation, that is, we have already, because we delayed tabling in the morning. If we had tabled in the morning, then we'll be discussing today in the afternoon. So as to the monies, we'll discuss tomorrow as you consider, because after second reading, it is not complete. You still have to do your amendments vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the committee of the whole house. And I've combined that because we realize that it is tied down together. Your consideration of this amendment is tied down together with the appropriation. And on top of that, the government, as per last week, we didn't have the 118. Now that the 118 has been, um, has been allocated to Nandi County because it was on pro rata, that gives you more work to consider when we agree tomorrow. In fact, my proposal would be, as soon as we finish this particular session, um, I would want a very brief session together informally after this to prepare for tomorrow morning so that we don't spend a lot of time. So majority, I think you've already made your point. Okay, proceed. So Honorable Speaker, I support Honorable Speaker because uh, we have the money, but the county cannot access Honorable Speaker. So it is necessary for us to, to make these changes so that our county can be able to access the money, so that our people can be served, Honorable Speaker. Thank you so much. I, I, I think, Honorable Speaker, we don't have much to discuss about the changes because as per the law, PFM Act, I mean, it's obvious that... Uh, but then the fortunate thing is, as the Honorable Majority Leader said, it's a blessing in disguise. Without that error, we would not have got the 60 million. And thank you, Honorable Chair, for finance, for being able to corner those who wanted to access 32 million. Unfortunately, Honorable Speaker, before even we discuss this tomorrow, maybe members, as we go home, we should start redefining what emergency is. I believe Honorable Gideon here will agree with me Electrical works at Nandi Hills Hospital is not an emergency. It's not part of COVID-19. Thank you. Honorable Gideon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think, um, uh, as my colleagues have said, uh, we don't have much to discuss in, as far as amending the law that we passed to conform with um, the PFM Act and uh, to conform with the advisory from the controller of budget in as far as instead of operating an account from the commercial banks, it is now operating a special purpose account uh, domicile in the central bank. But as sad, that said and done, Mr. Speaker, I think this particular uh, anomaly we are correcting uh, served us well because you remember, Honorable Speaker, we were here when we passed the emergency uh, funds. 
uh, appropriating the 181 million. We categorically said here that 130 million was supposed to go to COVID-related intervention, and 51 million was supposed to go to water-related intervention, which is also an aspect of uh, inter measures related to fight against the spread of COVID. Unfortunately, Honorable Speaker, when we did the, when we pronounced hi here, the executive wing of government took the, the same to mean that all the funds were now available to address just issues of beds, surgical masks, and even working on the electrical works. Not to mention working on Cabro. Mr. Speaker, I think I will be seeking in due course, whether it's tomorrow or the day after, or even next session, that as Honorable Mengage said, we strictly define what emergency is. Because, Mr. Speaker, to the best of my knowledge, Nandil's Trauma Center, as an entire entity, coupled 17 million. I am wondering why we are still investing another 8 million in the same facility in the sense that we are now handling the issues of COVID. Mr. Speaker, I think as much as we are in this era, we need to make sure that, as I said earlier, let us not handle the COVID issues, this pandemic, and then two, three months down the line, we will be handling another pandemic in the name of misappropriation of funds in this particular county. So I think, as, we, as he said, we are handling the issue of uh, just that anomaly, and we have no option but to adopt that amendment to make sure that we give note to the executive to operate a special purpose account in uh, Central Bank. The actual debate will be tomorrow when we handle the issue of the supplementary and eventually um, approving the same. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Fred. Uh, Nimesimama kuunga mkono kwa marekebisho kwa sababu mheshimiwa speaker hata tukikataa mheshimiwa speaker hakuna mali hiyo pesa itakuja lakini ile kitu tunajua mheshimiwa speaker kwa sababu kuna habari tuliuliza mheshimiwa speaker na tukapewa tukaangalia hata hii pesa yenye tunapeana kumbe tulikuwa ya siasa mheshimiwa speaker kwa sababu wewe toa pesa ya maji yangu akasaba tuende uweke stima mahali uende uweke nini ati kwa sababu hiyo kitu ni ya, ni ya maana zaidi kuliko ile ilikuwa nimepanga kwa wadi yangu mheshimiwa speaker najua tu sisi ni kasi yetu ni kupitisha tu hii vitu kila siku lakini hatujui pesa penye inaenda hiyo ndio tunasema mheshimiwa speaker ningeambia mheshimiwa kwamba si ati lazima tuunge kila kitu kwa hivyo unge lazima tukatai vitu vingine kwa sababu wewe ndio utauliswa maswali siku ya kuomba kura ya kwamba ile pesa ulitoa ukaweka hapo Tulianda public participation, tumayambia wanaenji tuhuja kufanya na hiyo imetolewa. Tutaulizo. Najua ni hiyo. Nimeunga mkono, irekebishwa pesa yende pale. Na naomba mungu. Ya kwamba hiyo gonjwa isikuje. Hii pesa turutise tena. Kwa sababu unaona, weshimi wanachanga nyikiwa zana. Mungu ndi anajua. Naulisa je, hii gonjwa isipokuja. Hii pesa itaruti. Na mimi, niko, hii ni mweaka nane sasa nikiwa mweshimiwa. Tulikuwa tunambiwa wakati imeisha, tunataka tufanya hivi na hiyo pesa ilienda tumekongwa mara mingi kwa ile mwaka yote tano ya sikule hata hii mwaka tatu tumeambiwa hivyo ati muda imeisha muda imeisha wanalete tunafanya kila kitu bila kuenda kwa wananchi nini na tunapitisha na hiyo pesa inaenda tungependa pia naambia heshimiwa kwamba hata kama tutakuwa tunafukuswa nyumbani hata kama tutaendelea tutakumbukwa siku moja ya kwamba walikuwa wanakuja tu kasi yao ni kupitisha tu sasa ngine tukae chini tuangalie wewe ni kiongozi 
Wewe ni mwanasiasa? Wewe unaomba kura na wananchi wanakuangalia. Sasa kingine tunafunga break tuangalie wananchi wanasema nini. Kwa sababu kwa hiyo mwaka tatu tumepitisha na hakuna kasi. Tumeaka, tunatoa pesa kwa account hii tunaweka kwa hii hakuna kasi. Na ningependa waheshimiwa tuangalie mbele tuone vile tutafanya. Sasa ndio Mungu awabariki. Honorable Kipkurich of Kwanza. Honorable Speaker, I think uh, I rise to support the report to the amendment to the emergency fund. Honorable Speaker, and uh, at this point, the emergency fund act now, which we are seeking an, an amendment to it, Honorable Speaker defines to us clearly what an emergency should be. So, Honorable Speaker, without going to much ado about the amendment in question, it is clear that somehow the courts must have conspired for that error to happen so that we are here. Because, Honorable Speaker, without that, we will have lost the 51 million so now, because of that error, the treasury could not disperse the money. Unfortunately for the executive, they had to come back to us. So we got them. They went and they came by themselves. And we'll catch them again, Honorable Speaker, because how on earth would you define completion of construction of dispensaries as an emergency? Whereas the people of Tindred sub-county, we do not have an isolation center properly equipped. How on earth do we want to wire money for wiring of Nandil's sub-county hospital, which we were able to fund twice in the supplementary budget in the supplementary budget of 17-18 and again in the budget of 18-19. More so, we even funded the expansion in 1819. So, Honorable Speaker, I always feel shame when the executive think that they can lie to this Honorable House, even in print. What they have written here, what they have written, they think they can lure and lie to us. Honorable Speaker, if I want to give notice, if in the emergency Honorable program, Kipkurui, Honorable Kipkurui, Honorable yes, Kipkurui, Honorable Speaker, I stopped Honorable Majority Leader from from discussing um, the content, which will be preempting our discussion tomorrow. Secondly, remember the Budget Committee will be working overnight uh, to try make the um, a simple summary for members to, to understand. Because you know what has happened, and which I would think I would want to guide members, there are two considerations here, which I, I don't think we will disagree much. The first consideration was the one sought by Honorable Gideon, which was on a question of the breakdown of the 181. Our main target was to just confirm that at least the way we had planned, we get it, and the chairman water is here. That was one. The second aspect, I think, was on itemization in order to see that everything is captured within the emergency fund. The second aspect is the supplementary, which we will received 118. Uh, the budget committee will be able to help to, because we've been given the document. Um, if you are to look at it, once you are always given a supplementary, it, only, it always gives you the tables of the first budget we adopted, supplementary one, supplementary two, and all those kind of things. So I will want to, to, to have my confidence in the budget committee to be able to help us highlight this 118, the way it has been allocated to Nandi County as an emergency for setting up the 300 bed capacity. This is how the executive has proposed. So that tomorrow, because your comments are rich, but they'll make a lot of sense tomorrow when now we are sitting and say, the 118 that came, these are the proposals. The one that we had appropriated, 181, now we can see the itemization and we confirm what did we want, what have we got, then we proceed. So would you kindly allow me just to cut you short so that you don't prosecute the content, because I'm sure now you have the documents, and I'm happy you are studying the documents, but you'll be preempting the budget committee. 
All right, Honorable Speaker, I would, I would not want to preempt, but I'm, I'm just saying, uh, I'm just having notice that whatever will be tabled, if it does not operationalize the isolation centers in Tindred, that is Maraba and Setek, we will not be party to it. I do support. Honorable uh, Terry. Thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker. Like uh, what the other members have said, that we have nothing much to do about the, the change in the accounts. I support that. It's only unfortunate that uh, this plan deals with real cases of COVID or uh, people who have been infected and nothing has been done about, has been planned about preventing it from ever since we got the first case in Nandi, which has remained silent. There's nothing we see that relates to preventing many people from getting the disease. Because as at now, we don't know whether we have cases in Nandi. There are no tests. There is nothing to, to help even try to, to, to check, to spot check the, 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 the disease around us. We are only preparing for real cases instead of doing much to prevent. So actually, the plan should also include prevention. Thank you, I support. Honorable members, judging by the mood of the House, I therefore wish to put a question that the Nandi County Emergency Fund Amendment Bill 2020 be read a second time. Will as many as our similar opinions say aye? Aye. Will as many as our country opinions say nay? The ayes have it. Honorable members, before I can go to the last, I would ask that we briefly remain here, just have a bit of communication on the same to guide you as you go read when you come back tomorrow. So I'll ask that no one to leave the chamber. I'll just exit and come back. Next order. Order number nine, adjournment. The house adjourns until the next sitting.